Hello, Danny. Um, welcome to a belated welcome to GRA 220. This will be some video feedback for you on your print ad. If you have any questions, issues, problems in the next four weeks, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, I think you, you made great progress within the last month, uh, and I like your ingredients. Uh, Danny, this is a nice package of, of things. It's everything that was required. Uh, including the screenshots of, uh, you know, sort of milestone um, uh, moments in your process. And I see that how you've used uh, the uh, oval to mask out, apply borders and so forth. It's all interesting, um, the tools and techniques you use to isolate objects um, and, you know, keep going and do the same for the uh, web banner. So anyway, we're taking a look at your, um, oh, by the way, that was, uh, anyway, he's also in this class. When I open your Illustrator file, I'm prompted uh, for these images. Um, and so here's where we get into uh, embedding versus linking. What's happened is you've linked them, and you may have provided them uh, to me, uh, but it, it, <clears throat> what I will have to do is relink them. I'm going to flip through here just to show you what the effects of um, linking rather than embedding are. Actually, I'm just you know left with a bare bones file with no indication of uh, imagery. Let me zoom in. So here it is. Um, again, I think you have, you know, in its Illustrator file or without embedded images. Now, how would you, how would you embed image? Um, you go up under, I'm in Illustrator, file, place, and fish around for something here. Um, alrighty. That's Paul Holbert's uh, image. Uh, also in this class. So take a look. And this is his silhouette of an amethyst crystal. I'd have to send this to the back. So let me just move that down here. Nice uh, file. You know, the only way, only reason why I can do, whoops, I don't want to lock anything here. The only way, only thing I'm missing are embedded images, I think, in the case. Um, I want, what I want to do is move this down. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then I guess probably move the logo up. I would not use the logo that is in a box. Um, I think the, the free form or the free floating logo would be a better choice. But that's, you know, again, that, that may just be me. If I can go back here. It's not locked, is it? Maybe some of the layers within it are locked. But anyway, you get the idea where I'm going with this. I'm trying to move the logo so that it appears on top of the image. There it is. Okay. And maybe not use the version um, of a logo with the box around it. See if I can get rid of the box alone. Yeah. See, there you go. I think that's cleaner. You might want to move it around, you know, just so that uh, it's fully legible no matter where it is, but falls. But uh, again, <laughs> this is Paul's solution. That's how you embed an image. Okay. So back, back to your ingredients. Um, <clears throat> I got carried away there. I like this irregular shape that you created in the background as a way of uh, containing your um, imagery and typography. And I like that it's sort of organic um, and it does tie things together. So <clears throat> um, I was going to just, you know, I was going to ask you to simplify it or suggest that you simplify it. And I think, you know, think about what you want the viewer to see first, second, and third. Um, this has an overall, I mean, it's, it, everything is um, of equal attention here, I think. And perhaps less information, more contrast to scale. I mean, you're getting there. I like this uh, bold explore, uh, then restore. Uh, think about, you know, maybe not capitalizing things. Is that a more casual nuance? You know, if, if, if uh, more resort-like nuance, I guess. And then this um, 
I would find one way of aligning type. Here it's centered. Here it's kind of flush left. Uh, here it's staggered. This is centered as well. Probably better, you know, pick an axis here. You've got an axis suggested right here. Um, maybe, you know, let the logo float, as I suggested, using Paul's ingredients uh, on top of your imagery. And then uh, maybe maybe hang the type off this implied vertical axis. Uh, this could be smaller, I believe, or maybe you can edit it to read smaller. And I think the links to social media uh, are probably unnecessary because this is a print ad. You might consider them in the web banner, but um, unless they have QR codes or something else, you know, these are these aren't very useful on the print ad. The contact information I think you can consolidate. You know, think about what's what are the bare minimum phone number, perhaps URL, uh, perhaps address, and you know that can be small, perhaps on a single line. Uh, consider that. Now, <clears throat> normally I'm not a fan of borders, um, but you have knit these together in an unusual and interesting way. And um, I guess my one suggestion would be to bleed off the bottom as you have the left and the right. So, uh, Danny, good going. Um, simplify, I guess, is my overall uh, suggestion. And um, I look forward to seeing how you apply this to your web banner.